Hey guys, welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea, except today we're not playing with dip powder. We're going to be trying out and reviewing Revel Nails' latest press-on nail launch. This one right here is their short square French manicure design. On the back side of the box, it goes over instructions, what's included. So it includes 24 different press on nails, an orange wood stick, a brush on glue, and then also a little nail file. Over here on the left side includes the instructions, so how we're gonna apply it. And then on the bottom, it also has the removal instructions. Here is a just neutral plain coffin design. It's called Trench Coat Medium Coffin. And and they also sent me over this short square flower set. Let's all act surprised, y'all, that this is the one that I'm going to try out today. It's What's Up Buttercup in a short square. Here's how we're looking straight out of the box. It's got this protective cover here, so I'm going to take that off. It feels a little bit fancier than the traditional grocery store packaging, so I do like that. Here's our nail file to shape your nails. It also includes the orange wood stick to push back your cuticles and to help with removal. And then here's the brush on nail glue. I do appreciate that it has a brush applicator rather than that dropper because I make a mess out of those. So here is our glue. To get started, I'm just gonna find my size. On the bottom side here, you'll see number. So the lower the number, the wider or larger the nail is. And so I'm gonna go up and just look at what size I need to measure. I would just lay it on top of my nail here. And if it's on my skin, then I know it's too big. So I can feel it right here on my sidewall area. So now I'm gonna go up a size, the next size up and size it. If you notice when you go up a size that it's too small, then I would suggest going with the larger size and filing it down to shape because you don't want it to be too small. So I wanted to just show you guys, I really like this clean tapered effect that they went with. It's not super bulky. You can see I'm squeezing on it and it feels durable. It very much so reminds me of the Kiss ones that I tried out, but you can see it's blended down at the cuticle area. So it's not gonna give that bulky press on look. I was a little bit bummed to see my some of my flower accent ones seem like they either got scratched or maybe misprinted. So I'm gonna set these over to the side. When you're using press-ons with all of these beautiful accents, my suggestion would be to, if you like it, size it. Find which size you wanna do and sort of build the rest of the manicure around that because there's not gonna be as many of these accent nails than there are of the solid colors typically. That's just what I find. So I'm just sizing some of these accents to see where I can make it work in the manicure and then I'm going to set them aside and sort of build the solid nails around it. Okay, here's what I ended up going with. So I played around with it. I'm gonna do three solids on my thumb to my middle finger, and then the last two will be flowers. A little tip would be to take a picture, write it down, save it in a note section on your phone of the numbers and the sizes that you're using. So for next time, you don't have to go through all of this. Now let's get started on our prep. So if all you have are the materials they provided, you would use this little tool to gently push back your cuticle area. We want to remove anything that's stuck on our nail plate that could cause lifting. However, I'm going to be doing a wear test on these. So I want to use my glass cuticle pusher because it is just so effective. I preach about this product. I love this product. It removes so much that is stuck on your natural nails that can cause lifting. So I'm just going to gently push my cuticle area back. I like to do small little swirl motions to get anything stuck on my nail plate and then I'm going to flip it over and use the other side to clean everything off this is not required you don't have to use a glass cuticle pusher I just want to make sure I get the best possible prep that I can do beforehand so I can really make these press on nails last so I'm gonna follow these same steps for the rest of my nails, just gently pushing back my cuticle and removing anything on my nail plate. All right, so I'm all done. I'm gonna use a dusting brush to dust everything off. Now it's time to file and shape our natural nails. So you wanna make sure that your natural nails are not longer than the press-ons. We don't want them sticking out on the underside of our press-ons but I don't want to shorten mine. I know they're not longer than my press-ons. I'm just gonna show you, you would go around your free edge area now and just make sure that they're not too long or shape them how you would like. Then you would use this little nail file to gently remove the shine on top of your natural nail. However, I'm breaking the rules again and I'm gonna use this buffing block 
because I don't know the grit on that little nail file and I'm a weirdo y'all. I do not like buffing my natural nails too much or with a very low grit nail file. This buffing block is a 220 grit so I'm just gently removing the shine but I'm not going to be taking off a lot of layers on my natural nails so that's why I'm going to use this little tool instead. This just ensures that we don't have anything left on our nail plate that could cause a lifting issue. So I'm going to follow these same steps for the rest of my nails. And then once I'm done, I'm going to dust it all off. All right, y'all, let's take a look at our instructions. So we made sure our natural nails were dry. We filed, we buffed the surface of our nail. Now it's saying we need to use some rubbing alcohol to cleanse them. So again, you can absolutely use rubbing alcohol if that's all you need to dehydrate your nails. But if you've watched any of my videos, you know, I need a actual nail dehydrator. So I'm going to grab my Sparkling Co. pH prep. I have oily nail beds. I like to take baths. I do the dishes all the time. My nails are just constantly in water. So I'm going to use a pH prep. Again, not necessary. You can absolutely use rubbing alcohol to dehydrate and cleanse my nails. A little tip that I've picked up from other press-on lovers are to do your pinky and go all the way to your pointer finger and skip your thumbs. Your thumbs are what you use to press down the press-on nail and it can affect how it adheres to the nail. So go pinky to pointer and then do your thumbnails last. Now let's do a check-in on our instructions. We've already done the sizing. I like to do that first because I don't wanna be touching my natural nails after I've prepped them. They have a lot of different ways that you can do this for how long you want it to last. You can get a wear time of one to two days, a week. So just check in on your instructions on how long you want them to last. I'm gonna go for the longest possible wear time. I've got everything out and ready because you do need to move quickly before the glue dries. I went ahead and did a practice run on my pinky nail. So based on the instructions, it says to do a full layer of the glue on your natural nail and then apply a little bit also on the edge where your cuticle area is on the press on nail. Finding my rhythm and how fast I needed to go and how much liquid I needed to apply took time, okay? And I'm also doing this on my dominant hand. So I'm just trying to place it at my cuticle area and then press down. I'm trying to not get any air bubbles and you do need to hold it down with a light amount of pressure for around 30 seconds. So just holding right here in the center and then you'll also notice I'm gonna pinch it on the sides as well because I really wanna make sure it is adhered to my nail. So I'm just gonna sit here and hold it down for 30 seconds. I'm gonna follow the same steps on my middle finger, just applying a light amount of glue across the entire nail and then applying more on the press-on. I will say they do have a decent amount of C-curve on these nails, so I think next time I would apply even more glue on the underside of the press-on to fill in the gap between my natural nail and the press-on nail. So you'll see I'm just kind of making sure it's even and straight and then I go from cuticle area and then pressing down towards the tip. So I'm holding here in the center and then I'm going to press on the sides just making sure I hold it down for at least 30 seconds. It's going to vary on what you want for your liquid amount if you have a lot of curve on your natural nails how long you want them to last however I feel like I do have a decent amount of curve to my natural nails and I still felt like I wanted more glue after the fact so I'm going to do that next time try some more glue out on the underside of the press on it's all trial and error especially because press ons are new to me so I'm not going to be I'm not a press on connoisseur but I can tell quality I feel at least and these are are durable in my opinion at least this set that I tried they feel like those kiss and press on ones and I do really love that they don't look like press ons they have a beautiful blend at the cuticle area my thumbs are my flattest nails so I should have applied even more glue on the underside of my thumb press on and you'll see a little update here soon on how my thumb managed in a couple days Now that they've been on our nails for about a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and file them. So you can definitely use the little file it includes, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't break another rule, right? So I'm gonna use this 180 grit file from Revel Nail. You can use any 180 grit you want. We want to just shape it how you like. So I am going to go in for a more tapered square look. I don't like the flare that it's giving right now. I'm just trying to be really careful that I don't scratch this design because once I do, that's it. So just go around that free edge area and just make sure you don't accidentally file the top side of the press on. 
So I'm just doing little motions each time and checking it, making sure I don't go too short. Gonna taper in those sidewalls and do that for each of the nails. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna dust it all off. Guess what, y'all? We're done. That's it. I'm going to apply some cuticle oil. I know I get a lot of questions about that. Like, should you apply it afterwards? Is it going to mess with them? In my opinion, having healthy, natural nails is what is going to help your manicure last. If your nails are brittle, chipping, peeling, all of these things, it's going to make it hard for any sort of enhancement to adhere to them. So I am going to apply it and I apply it regularly, but you guys are about to see a day three update. Let's check in. So we lost a member of the team. You can see here, all of these are holding on really well. This is day three, but my poor thumb did not make it. I, right after my shower, I felt it come off and I don't know where it went. So we're gonna apply a different one, but look, I mean, these are on really well. So like I mentioned earlier, I should have applied more glue. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna move quicker. I'm actually not gonna remove what's on my nail right now. I know I probably should, but I'm in a hurry. I need to get out the door. I've got a hair appointment, a long overdue one. So I'm gonna do another layer across the entire nail over top of it's already on there. You can definitely clean your nail off if you want to beforehand. I just don't have the time. So this is where press-ons are a little lifesaver. I'm going to apply this and I'm going to apply more glue this time on the underside of the press-on. Now I'm just going to line it up right at my cuticle area, starting at the cuticle area and applying pressure all the way down towards my free edge to try to prevent any bubbles or anything like that. Then we're going to hold it down tight for 30 seconds. As I'm doing this voiceover, I am on day five. However, I cannot wait any longer because I need to get the video uploaded. So I'm gonna pin a comment on how long they end up lasting. And I'll also share some updates over on my Instagram stories as well. Some final thoughts, I think that they are great. I love the length, I love the shape, I love the designs. I am a little bit bummed that some of my designs got misprinted or scratched, but that's kind of par with, you know, press-ons, it happens, it's not a big deal, but I just wanted to share that feedback. I do have oily Nails. I did take a bath in a shower with these on and they are still holding on great. I think once you find how much liquid that you need for your nails and your nail chemistry, your lifestyle, I think they're great y'all. I think they're going to last. So I'm excited to have some more fun options for my nails now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next week.